<laughs> this is kind of fun. It's been a few years, Cecil, since you were once uh, in the service. 1952, you left the United States Army. 1953, you left the United States Air Force. Right. Um, your father or grandfather or great-grandpa um, passed on to me a words a, about a month ago. He told me that he had not received medals that he had earned during his service to the United States military. So he helped me find some of those records. And with the help of the records, I was able to go back to the Human Resources Command and um, ask them for some help. It usually takes 90 days to get these kind of awards validated. They did it for me in 48 hours. Mm -hmm. So because of the situation... It was, it was me. <laughs> it was because, on behalf of the Secretary of the Army, I present to you Corporal Cecil J. Welch, the National Defense Service Medal. The National Defense Service Medal is awarded for soldiers who serve their country during times of national conflict. So all soldiers who serve in national time of conflict with honor are awarded a National Defense Service Medal and a first, second, or third award, depending on how many national conflicts. I'm going to pin this on right here. It actually was going to clip on. I'm going to get them side by side here. This is the National Defense Service Medal. This is the Army Good Conduct Medal. It's authorized and presented to soldiers by their commander when the commander determines the soldier has served with honor his three years with good conduct. Not all soldiers can do that because they all have breaking points, and many of them have to learn over and over again how to behave themselves before they're finally broken in. Apparently, Corporal Welch did not have that problem. So I present to you on behalf of the Secretary of the Army, the Army Good Conduct Medal. National Defense Service Medal, Good Conduct Medal. Thank you, soldier. Job well done. Thank you, sir. And I have one last one. On behalf of the Secretary of Defense, Cecil J. Welch, in recognition of your service during the period of the Cold War, from the 2nd of September, 1945, and you joined about four years after that, through December the 26th, 1991, in promoting peace and stability for this nation, the people of this nation are forever grateful, signed Robert Gates, Secretary of Defense. This is your certificate of recognition. Signed by the Secretary of Defense, it's a great honor to be able to recognize soldiers who served to keep America free during times of the Cold War, when there really was, for many years, a question if our nation would survive. Cecil was there as Corporal Welch doing his duty. In the Air Force and in the Army, thank you, Cecil. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for all your great service, and I'm honored to be able to do this. Great military. Pride. Daddy. Great relationship. A great man overall. They take great pride in country, and they, I, I think they believed it was their civic duty to do that, to protect the freedoms of, the, of being an American citizen. The reason I went in, I couldn't find any jobs or anything out here, and I, like a fool, had quit school. And I thought maybe I'd get an education somewhere else in the Army. When I come home, I, I came home and, and was home for maybe three months, couldn't find a job, so I enlisted in the Air Force. But I stayed in the Air Force and when the Korean War was over, well, they, they come up with an, anybody that had three years active duty could get out. So I got out. <laughs> Pride and morals and values still exist. Even in the difficult time that we have as a nation, as a world, there are still good people out there. And they pass that goodness down generation after generation.